Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this afternoon's matchup between the Detroit Lions and the San Francisco 49ers. The tight end position. We don't normally say going into a game that this could be the difference maker, but that could be the case here today. Yeah, there's no doubt that could be the case today. You know what, Jim? As time goes along, we're going to say this a lot more. Tight ends. The NFL coaches are getting smarter. They're finding more ways to get the football to these guys. They're big, they're athletic, and they're in the middle of the field. They can go anywhere they want. Tough to curb them in situations like that. First down here. He's looking long. He caught it. What a way to start the game. First possession touchdown. This offensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude, isn't he? What play calls he put out there for the guys. They reward him by taking the opening drive and scoring the touchdown. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. This is a big time return. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Right on the money. Tackles made. <laughs> Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting runs. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Drops the pass. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Second down following that incompletion. The Lions get a first down. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. First down here after the completion. Trying to work that left side. Catch is made. Now you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. You gotta be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. First and goal. Stafford gets it out to Brandon Pettigrew. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Now this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. The 49ers lined up in the nickel. Third and goal to go from the two. Reed is there and has the pick. He's brought down. He'll take it at the point. Offense readying for the snap. Kaepernick's got the football after the play fake. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second down and 10. He gets the toss. 
It's away from the stack. They get to him just in time. One oh, yard shy of the first down. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. A running back must always know the situations. Third and short, don't be looking to break it outside and go for the big run. Get the first down so the offense can stay on the field. Nice job. Under fire on that throw. Second down after the incompletion. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Third and ten. Down the field. What a catch. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Here's the first snap after the big play. Antoine Bolden with the catch. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Bolden is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Running away from the pressure. He had no time to get set. you got to find ways to avoid sacks in the NFL. Two ways to do it. Run away from them because you got speed or good footwork inside the pocket. Nice job that time by the quarterback. Avoiding the sack and getting rid of the football. Colin Kaepernick under center. Third and three. Gets away from the pressure. Throws to the right. Incomplete. Well, the defense was playing pass all the way that time, even though it was third and short. The quarterback moved up in the pocket and took off, but he just doesn't have the foot speed to even get a get a first down on third and short. When the offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it, get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives him three. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Breaks away, able to move past the 20, and brought down at the 23. The 49ers come out in the nickel, and the give to Reggie Bush. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. He'll fire it out to the left. The Lions now move the chains. Touchdown. This game is tight. Well, it's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Runs out of bounds. Kaepernick under center first and ten got a little screen set up here five-yard total I think the best thing to say about that play is just it gained a few yards so that's what you do all plays don't score sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards Bolden is a receiver in the slot they're setting up screen and he hauls it in 
Yeah, he just ran for 61 yards. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Ball is snapped, and the quarter, there's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. you got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. On first down. That catch will extend the drive. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. First down, throwing again. The pass complete. He's brought down at the 46. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job by the quarterback throwing it in there. The handoff to Reggie Bush. The ball is jarred loose. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. in the slot and the second quarter is underway with this snap when you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards you are going to get into the head of the defense you're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you and manningham's lined up in the slot second and six on the run throwing now to his left and it's out of bounds incomplete Hunter is in the backfield. Quarterback flips it to the running back. The tackle was made. What a job that time by the offensive line. That hole was so big, he could have drove a car through it. The running back hit it full speed, and that allowed him to get down the field and get that long run. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Second down here. Gore's got the toss. Secure power serve for six. Touchdown. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. The Lions are ready to receive the kick.
Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That pass play picks up the first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That reception gave them the first down. Eyeing that left side. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second down and 10. He fires it in there tight. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. And that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Gore's lined up as the single back. First and ten. And the give to Frank Gore. Tackle down right around the 47. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down and two. Gore. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury, and uh, it's, just, it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's going to be okay. First down here after the run. Play action. Throws the pass. Wide open for the catch. When you talk about the play action pass game, it's really when you call it. You got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. First down following the long play. Frank Gore gets it here. Touchdown, 49ers. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. The 49ers for the extra point. Extra point is good. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. at the 18-yard line. First down on the way. He'll throw it over the middle. The Lions get a first down. And not until they pick up good yardage is he brought down. When you throw this pass as a quarterback, you've got to stick it right onto the body of the wide receiver. They are nervous because they're running across the middle. Two-minute warning. Defense comes out of the nickel. Incomplete and almost intercepted. It was a jump ball in essence for that throw, and in the end, the defense was able to make the play and deny the completion. In the NFL, it's always about the most physical guy wins, and that time it was the defensive player. Good job. Loads it up. It's going deep. Incomplete. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area, read the quarterback, and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. 
the 49ers with a nickel look here on defense. Matt Stafford to who else? Calvin Johnson. Well, that was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Looking across the middle, ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The easy, defender easy. made a nice hit and knocks easy. the football out to the ground. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. That pass was hurried. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Lions now move the chains. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated, throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football, and they get the easy touchdown pass. Lions set to kick it. tackle right at about the 28-yard line. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. Carlos Rogers' injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. First and ten, but give. Good piece of tackling. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. So that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. Gore is in the backfield. In trouble now. Looking to the right side and throwing. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately. But a nice job by the quarterback. Able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. To Vernon Davis. And it's incomplete. Deep passes in the NFL, they always serve a purpose. You're not always going to get the completion, but at least it gets the defense thinking that you will try some long throws down the field. Andy Lee will be punting this one. Spurlock from the 27. And Navarro Bowman brings him down. It's first down as they head to the line. Long ball to Calvin Johnson. The Lions call the timeout. They're first. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality for them. They've got a first down now after that catch. Matthew Stafford looking long. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Revent defense here trying to avoid the deep pass. Matthew Stafford looking long. 
Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and 10. Gain of 17. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Challenging the defense. What a catch. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Lions set to kick it. He'll have a chance to take off. He steps out. The 49ers getting set now for their next series. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. He wants to go deep. Hauls it in deep down the middle. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. So that's going to do it for the first half. 49ers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers are leading by 17. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. Guys, I had a chance to speak with Matt Stafford at halftime. Right now, his guys are trailing, but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point. He said, we haven't played our best football, but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win. That's it from down here, guys. We'll just have to see how things play out. Back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go into the field. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Burleson's a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Screen pass. He makes the catch. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space and making a nice catch. Bells lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Throws to the right. Knocked away, incomplete. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Third and three. Looking for an open receiver on the right. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. Touchdown, Lions. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Bells lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. The defense gets the sack. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Working that left side. The Lions get a first down. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, this defense cover four, where four defensive backs are back there deep. It stops all the big passes down the field. 
But look at these crossing routes. Wide open, hit them, and let them catch it and run. And the ball was out. A recovery by the defense. That'll be a touchback. And the ball will be placed at the throw. Great job by the defense. Forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. First and ten. He's scrambling now. He's looking to the right here on this throw. in the slot. On second and ten, Gore is going to secure the handoff. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Under pressure and incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Hunter's all set here. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Burleson is lined up in the slot. The quarterback will hand it off. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Sticks to his hands. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. First and 10, going across the middle, and it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it. Fired it. Got the touchdown. Let's go now to Danielle Polini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue, and he'll be back on the field shortly. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Now on first down. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows him. Ohio! Ohio! Second down coming up. Here we go. This is a screenplay all the way. In on the stop. It takes a lot of practice, I'll tell you that, to, 
to run screen passes successfully. That time, the quarterback did his part. He hung in there. He was under pressure, gets rid of the football, and they picked up some good yards. Holden's lined up now as a slot receiver. Right side. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Has some space to work with. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. And here he goes. 49ers in the end zone. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. He will run this one back. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Burleson is going to get set in the slot for this snap. They run right. He stacked up at that point. Burleson's a receiver in the slot. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Brings it in. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, that's an interception. Breaks out of that one. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Kaepernick under center and the give to Frank Gore. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be second down. That wraps up the third quarter here in one of the world's greatest cities, San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. Bolden's in the slot. They are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Going to take off with it. Looking to the right. It's intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. Well, I'm sure the defensive coaches, when they saw the quarterback break out of the pocket and get away from the sack, they were disappointed. But uh, they didn't. the quarterback turned their disappointment into joy as he made a terrible decision and threw the interception. And they sack the quarterback. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback to have pressure up the middle from an interior defensive tackle. Uh, hard to see down the field, can't make a decision, and that time it leads to a sack. They bring him down one more time. Well, you expect defensive ends to get sacks because they come around the outside. 
But when you get pressure from the inside and the defensive tackle gets a sack, that's just an added bonus. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They come out in the dime package. Brings it into his body. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and goal, challenging the de intercepted. Got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. to the line and it's first down gore and that's good for only a yard or two well that short gain is going to come in handy for the offense even if they don't get a first down those couple yards will make a punting situation a lot easier for them Bolden's lined up in the slot second and nine to the ground here he's headed right breaks free that little wiggle just left the defender standing there Boy, Frank Gore over the years has taken a lot of punishment from the running back position, the knee injuries, shoulder injuries, but he's still got the great speed and good lateral movement to get big yards. A new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Good job by the safety diagnosing the run, getting up, outside and making the tackle for a short game. Common Kaepernick under center. Getting sacked. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free and they sacked the quarterback. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. And he makes the catch. He's got room. Shakes off the tackle. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Running to the right. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. But there's a flag thrown in. He made it. Looks like the defender was caught in the neutral zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. The quarterback's a little sneaky. Man. Inside of the uprights. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down here. He'll fire it out to the left, right where it had to be. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. 
Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning. Ball's picked off. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice kick. First down coming up. Miller's got it on the handoff. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Split backfield here. Running back gets it on the handoff. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Well, when you're on the defensive side, if you read the offensive formation, where do they have the most numbers at? And that's usually where they're going to run the football. That time the offense goes to the strong side, gets outside, you should have an extra defender there waiting for him. Terrible job by the defense. First and 10, throws to the right. That catch, good for a first down. Tim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Kaepernick's dropping back to throw once again. The big thing about running the curl route, once you see the football, you have to keep moving and attack it. Don't stand there and wait for the football to get to you. That reception gave them the first down. Kaepernick's play action. 49ers in for the score. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the kick, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. They face first down. Stafford in shotgun formation. Launches it down the field. And they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Offense lines up here. The throw to the left. Burleson's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Looks to his left. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. It's third down coming up. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, but it's incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. 
Ross is lined up now as a slot receiver. Trying to work that left side. Touchdown! I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. to the left they failed to convert on the two-point try so they'll just have to settle for the six the 49ers in kickoff return formation they're not going to risk the big return so here's the squid kick he's brought to a halt First down here. The Lions call a timeout and are left now with only one. One more play and it's in the books. That's going to do it here in this one. 